Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey, and you guys are gonna witness my very first wash and go. So, I'm already in the shower. My hair is very, very dirty. <laughs> um, I usually wear wigs, so I don't really wash my hair that often. I think it's been probably about four weeks since I washed and conditioned my hair. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in and rinse my hair off first, kinda getting all the crusties and dusties out of there, you know? <laughs> And then I'm gonna use my Miel conditioning shampoo. I really like this because it doesn't dry my hair out and my hair tends to be kind of dry and I'm just going to massage my shampoo into my head and just kind of get it to lather. I like this shampoo a lot because it lathers very easily and you really don't need that much I just added more because my hair is super dirty and I only wanted to wash it one time then I go in and rinse the shampoo out you guys probably can't see the label but i will put everything in the description box down below i'm using this cream of nature honey deep conditioner and i just really put a lot of this on my hair because like i said my hair is really dry and i don't get to deep condition or wash that often so I put a lot of this on my hair and my hair soaks up a lot of product and with deep conditioner I just like using a lot it honestly just makes me feel better about everything <laughs> so I slather a lot of that on just kind of finger detangling as I go and then I apply a plastic cap and I leave that on for about 30 minutes okay so next I'm gonna use the design essentials I think this is the curl cream now guys this is where i messed up and i was so mad but this stuff is great for moisturizing my hair when i'm going to braid it up and put a wig on but guys this stuff was a disaster it was a disaster for this wash and go okay as you guys can see it's super white like i said i love this stuff for braiding up my hair and putting on a wig but i obviously forgot that my hair is always super white but moisturized when i put my wig on and i feel like with this product you're not supposed to add a lot like it's a styling cream or anything so this is how my hair is looking i don't even know why i kept going y'all I don't know <laughs> but I'm adding more cream yo I added way too much of this stuff and it was just horrible I used my little detangling brush though that was cute and it has a lot of slip but sis this was a whole disaster so I was going to go in and do like my little cute wash and go puff right I love this brush from Amazon. I'll have it in the description box. That thing is a super good detangler for like type four hair and other types of hair too. Yeah, I like that brush. But then I take my huge um, hair tie and I try to attempt to do my puff, right? And I notice that my hair is still super white. So after that, I even tried washing just my puff with like the shower sprayer and oh, it didn't work. It did not work. It did not work. <laughs> so as you can see, this is how it was looking and it was a fail. Like I failed and it's okay because I got the next day, right? Okay, so this will be the second time that I'm trying to do this wash and go. I tried to do the wash and go yesterday for the very first time and it came out okay. I can see my curl pattern a lot better, but I think I can do a lot better. And yesterday was horrible because I put the Design Essentials curl cream in my hair and then I put the Wet Line Extreme Gel on my hair and that was a disaster. My hair was white. It looked horrible. I filmed a whole video like that. <sighs> so today I rewashed my hair I know that's bad to like wash your hair again but I used a the same shampoo I used yesterday the Miel conditioning shampoo so the only thing that I'm going to use for my leave-in today is the wet line extreme gel the same stuff I used yesterday and to top it off I'm going to use the Miel mint almond oil just a little bit of it to give my hair some type of moisture I don't know I feel really weird just using this as a leave-in but all the videos I watched people use this 
instead of like a cream. I'm just so used to putting mad cream on my hair and then uh, oil to like lock in the cream. So this is really weird for me. So we're going to go in. I did dry my hair a little bit because it was dripping wet yesterday. And I do have a spray bottle here. Okay, so I'm watching some wash and go routines on YouTube, right? So since I'm a newbie, I think I'm going to use products that are meant for curl and coil sculpting like custards that don't have a white residue. So I'm going to try using this Keratin Green Tea Reconstructor as like my little spray. And then I'm going to use this Miel Pomegranate and Honey um, stuff. I've used this before. And this is a coil sculpting custard. And this is clear. So it has no, like, no color to it. So I'm going to try that with the gel and see if that works. I think that's a good idea. Right? Okay, so here is my wash and go lineup. I use the Afro G spray. And then I go in with the B Miel Coil Custard. And then I go in with the Wet Line Extreme Gel. And then I use a little bit of the almond oil. So my hair is pretty damp, even though it looks dry right here. It's pretty damp. And um, if I do need extra moisture, what I do is I spray my water on my hair first and then I go in and apply the products so I sprayed my Afro G spray already and then now I'm going in with the Miel coil custard I really like this stuff because it really makes my curls pop a lot even without adding the gel but I went in and applied the wet line gel and then the almond oil so I'm just taking it section by section and doing um, the spray the coil the gel and then the almond oil on each section even though i know i'm not wearing a wash and go out i'm doing a puff i still want each section to be equally as curly you know what i mean and as moisturized so i just use my fingers to detangle instead of using a brush because i feel like i get less shedding that way plus i feel like it wasn't as hard because i detangled yesterday so my hair is kind of detangled already so I'm taking a couple clips to hold my hair back because when I got to the top, my hair got kind of dry. I sprayed my hair with my water and then I went in with the Afro G spray. And next I went in with my coil custard by Miel and then my wet line gel <laughs> and then my oil. So as you can see, the coil custard really like relaxes my curls a little bit as well as makes them pop. So my hair gets some weight to it and it just i don't know i love the coil custard i feel like that'll always be a favorite of mine and i'm just using my fingers to detangle okay i'm gonna shut up now and you guys can just watch it because you know what i'm using So right here my hair does look kind of white but that will go away i'm gonna use my handy dandy my love this detangling brush from amazon it's so good i've used a lot of detangling brushes but this one by far is the best i feel like because it has the little wiggly teeth does that even make sense but yeah i feel like that's why it's so good and it really detangles my hair without hurting me and it's just so easy to detangle even if your product doesn't have slip so what I'm doing is preparing my hair for my puff. I am combing or brushing, I don't know what this technically is, but brushing my hair up into the puff kind of thing. And then I'm gonna take like my little edges and kind of twist them because I want that little cute hair hanging curl look. And I'm just gonna twist my hair around my fingers and I'm just going to make that curl a lot more defined than it was. Um, I'm going to kind of slick my hair up with my wet line gel and you have to use, a, well for me, let me just speak for myself, I have to use a lot of this to really slick my hair up, um, a lot, a good amount of this around the perimeter of my hair for it to actually work and stay in place. It's a good gel, but I have to use a good amount of and it. And now I'm taking a hard bristle brush and I'm brushing my hair up into the puff. I'm just making sure that none of the hairs are left behind. I just want to make sure that my hair 
looks as sleek but wavy as possible because you know when you have curls your hair is never sleek it's like wavy I think it's really cute but I'm gonna use a big hair tie um, as you guys can see it's way bigger than the standard and I love using this for my puffs it's just so easy you don't have to worry about like tying anything or anything like that it fits my head perfectly it does not come off it does not give me a headache it's the perfect puff hair tie perfect Oh my god it's so good and then what I do is just push my hair up in the back so that it looks more like a puff bun kind of thing <laughs> and next I'm going in with my fingers and finger coiling my hair so that my curls are more popping than they are look at that shrinkage man look at that mm -mm -mm. shrinkage is a lie <laughs> it's a lie <laughs> it's a whole lie but anyways I'm going in and finger coiling my hair like I said before and this just really defines my curls and helps them to last longer than a day I've never done a wash and go I don't even know why I'm talking like I've done a wash and go before but it's day three and my curls are still popping so I guess it worked right <laughs> and I didn't add more product to finger coil there was enough product on my hair to finger coil you know already so I didn't have to add any more gel any more anything Okay, so now it's time for my edges. I'm just going to use a flat toothbrush and I'm going to use the wet line gel to do my edges, like swoop my edges, you know. Um, the wet line gel didn't really work. Um, I would say I will have to find a good edge control. You guys leave me suggestions of a good edge control for type 4 hair. I don't care where it is, if it's sold online, if it's in the beauty supply store, I don't care. I just need one, okay? <laughs> because this was a struggle because I had to keep going over the areas mad times and it just wasn't laying down. It's a cute gel, like it's cute, but I need something that holds the first time I swipe, at least the second time, you know? It worked, um, I did have to tie my hair up for it to actually really lay down, but it was kind of a struggle. I'm not even going to front. Like, it was a struggle. <laughs> I just tied my hair up and um, it did lay down. But I just want something I can just do my edges and go. Like, I'm a newbie, so I don't really know a lot about products and stuff. I'm just trying things out for, like, the first time. So, I'm tying my hair up. I leave that on until I'm done, like, doing a little makeup. And then I'm going to take it off. But look at my curls though. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So hyped. So hyped. Anyways, my edges weren't laying down like I said before. Even after I took the head wrap off. So I'm using a blow dryer with a diffuser. So it doesn't mess up my curls. And I'm just trying to lay down my edges a little bit. Also, my hair was pretty wet. So I'm just going to take the diffuser and kind of put it on my curls a little bit. So it can dry a little bit more because I was going outside. But yeah, this is how my curls are looking. I feel like for my first or technically second wash and go, it looks pretty good. Ah, I'm excited. Ah, I actually did it. Oh my God. No white residue. My curls are popping. Look at that. They are popping. Popping. Most defined I've ever seen my curls ever. Ever. I've never seen my curls like this ever. So, yes, I'm excited. Yes, I'm being extra. Yes, no white residue, but they are here to stay and here to play. Like, who am I? Who am I? Who is she? If you like this video, share it with a friend, thumbs up, all that good stuff. This was a struggle, but we got her done. <laughs>